Hello everyone, today we will be showing you a step-by-step -step instruction on insulin injection. Some patients with diabetes will require insulin injection to control their blood glucose level. The proper techniques of mixing, injecting and storage of insulin are crucial in the patient's diabetes care. Let us go through these principles and techniques with you. We will now show you how to prepare the mixture of short and intermediate acting insulin. Step 1. First, prepare your supplies. Remember to remove your insulin bottles from the fridge half an hour before your injection. Check the expiry dates and discard the vials six weeks after opening or as per manufacturer's guide. Step 2. Please wash your hands with soap and water. Step 3. We will start with the cloudy insulin. Gently roll the cloudy insulin bottle between the palms of the hand until insulin is well mixed. Do not shake the bottle. Step 4. Clean the rubber stopper of the bottles with an alcohol swab. Step 5. Next, draw air into the syringe by pulling plunger down. The amount of air should be equal to the dosage of the cloudy insulin required. Step 6. The next step is important. With the bottle standing upright, insert the needle through the rubber stopper of the cloudy insulin bottle and inject air into the bottle. Remove the syringe without drawing up any insulin. Step 7. Repeat this with the clear insulin. Draw up air into the syringe, equivalent to the dosage of clear insulin required. Step 8. Put the needle through the rubber stopper of the clear insulin bottle. Inject air into the bottle. Step 9. This time, with the needle in the bottle, invert the bottle and withdraw the correct dose of clear insulin into the syringe at your eye level. Remove air bubbles if present. Step 10. Then, put the needle into the cloudy insulin bottle. Invert the bottle and withdraw the cloudy insulin. This will now give you a total dose of both clear and cloudy insulin. We will now show you how to inject the insulin. Step 1. Clean the injection site with an alcohol swab. Step 2. Hold the syringe in one hand. Step 3. With the other hand, gently pinch up a fold of skin on the abdomen. Step 4. Direct the needle straight into the pinched skin. Step 5. Slowly push the plunger down to inject the insulin. Step 6. Remove the needle, then relax the pinch. Step 7. If there is any bleeding, press on the injection site. Do not rub. Let us now look at insulin storage. It is important to store insulin appropriately to ensure its optimal function. Insulin should be stored in a refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees. Do not store in the freezer. Remember to label the date of opening for a new insulin bottle. Insulin bottles are stable for 6 weeks from date of opening or as per manufacturer's guide. Do not use insulin if it is expired, contaminated or if there are any lumps or flakes present. Avoid keeping insulin in hot places or in direct sunlight. Let's proceed to syringe disposal. 
After each insulin injection, you will need to discard your insulin syringes appropriately to prevent any forms of injuries. Remember, insulin syringes are only meant to be used just once, then discarded. Dispose syringes into a hard plastic or metal container with a screw-on or tightly secure lid. Label that container as used syringes. Keep the container away from children. When it is full, seal the container and discard it into the rubbish bin. I hope this video has been helpful to you in learning about the correct method of insulin injection, storage and disposal. We are certain that with proper guidance and education, you will be able to do it safely and independently.